Ruby's Birds, Maya Thompson. School's out. Mom and Dad are at work. My brother Malik is at soccer practice. Grandma's at her spot near the window. Alex keeps her company. Things are too quiet around here. I know what to do. I play the piano, the piece my parents say is very grown up. I practice my dance routine, the one Malik calls stomping. I talk with Alex in the secret language Grandma taught us. I sing at the top of my lungs the song I made up myself. My neighbor Ava from downstairs hears everything. She calls up from the window, Ruby, you want to go to the park? Yes, 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 I sing. We pass my favorite bakery. We pass Cece's apartment. We walk right past my regular park, the one with the twisty slide and the sprinklers. I guess Eva is going to a different park. I skip to keep up. I follow her all the way to Central Park, where my parents sometimes take us on Sundays when we're all dressed up. Eva is going to the woods. I've never been that way. We sing made-up songs about joggers and strollers and fancy dogs. Suddenly, Eva stops. She looks up. She is listening. I quiet down and listen, too. Oh, what's wrong? I wonder. I hear a police car, a plane, some barking. I tug on Eva's sleeve, but she's not paying attention. She holds her binoculars up to her eyes. She is frozen like a statue. And then she smiles a huge smile. I guess everything's okay, so I start singing again. Ruby! Eva sighs. Oh, you scare him away. Who did I scare away, I ask. Eva flops down on the bench. I sit too. It's a bird I've only seen back home in Costa Rica, she says. He's just stopping through on his way north because it is the best patch of woods for miles around. He's quite a singer, just like you. If you stay quiet, he may be able to find him again. He's a golden wing warbler. I nod. I don't say a word, or sing a word either. It sounds like something from a fairy tale. We live carefully, we're serious, we pay attention. We watch for tiny movements in the leaves. We try and try. No luck today, says Eva, but now you know what to do. I sing myself to sleep as usual. On Sunday morning, I beg for a walk to Central Park. Malik's not interested, but it's family time, so he has to come anyway. We pass the bodega. We pass the theater. I sing my song. My family listens along. At the park, I lead them straight to the woods. I'm silent. I'm serious. I'm paying attention. I hear rustle the leaves. Shh, I say, just like Eva. I'm frozen like a statue. A tiny bird pops out of the leaves. It looks one way, then the other, and then right at me. I can't help it. I get that huge smile, just like Eva's. Look, I yell. Ah, yes, says Grandma. I saw a wobbler. I sing as he flies away.